I bought these beautiful artworks made by the lovely Jack Nola, and I wanted to make fitting picture frames for them using secondhand materials. I found this secondhand tabletop online made from solid oak. Even better, I also found these wooden door frames taken from a house built in 1780. Now how cool is that? I knew I could make something happen with these materials, but first things first, removing all these layers of paint. And for that, I need a few items. Eye protection, scraper, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh, right! Music. Now equipped with the essentials, I started scraping away the paint. This was easier than I thought, probably because the paint was so old. Once I was done scraping, the weather had improved and it was time to sand the back of the frames. Some 5 hours later and they looked like they'd been brutally molested. Which, in a way, is kinda what happened. Oh well, time to actually start making these frames. I grabbed my untrustworthy miter saw and started to- Oh fuck! I hit a hidden nail there. Let's try that again. That's better. I did a few more measurements, made a few more cuts, and before I knew it, had all the pieces I needed. I took them upstairs to see if I did a decent enough job. Okay, this actually doesn't look too bad. Now I only need to glue these pieces together, but clamping a corner is not gonna work. I found a quick and easy way to make a corner clamping jig and decided to give it a go. So I started by cutting out a rectangle from a piece of wood that I had left over from when I made my own desk. I covered the dog in wood dust in the process. Sorry Chung. I marked the center point and began drilling a hole, only to find my battery dying on me. Luckily, I had a spare. Not a spare battery, but a spare drill. I cut out a corner with the miter saw while filming the back of my head. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Fuck. So I went back to filming my hair this time and gave it another go. It doesn't really work because the inside is thin and rounded. Could have thought of that sooner. Oh well. On to plan B. First, I'm cutting the elastic band from an old pair of boxers. These I use as a way to clamp all the parts together. I start by gluing one corner using a little piece of ebony to create some space. I repeated this for each corner, but when I got to the last one I had a bit of a problem. The sides did not align. I first thought of sawing off about 2mm, but that was kind of a stupid idea. So I went to the miter saw instead. Much better. I added some wood blocks for extra stretch and used small clamps to keep the seam straight. With the frames now done, it is time to create a sort of backplate that will keep the art in place. I traced around the frames on that old tabletop and went looking for my jigsaw, but then I remembered that I left it at a friend. So yeah. It took me about 36 times longer to finish this job with the handsaw, but finishing it I would goddammit, so I did. It's all slowly starting to come together. But they're still very rough around the edges, so I'm gonna take my sweet time sending it all smooth. Nope, I'm gonna set them on fire. I got inspired by the Japanese woodworking technique Yakisugi. By slightly charring the surface of the wood, it becomes more durable and fire resistant. I brushed away the charred surface and then decided that it's way too much fun to set things on fire, so I did it again. But the best thing about this process must be this beautiful dark color that emerges after brushing away the top layer. To enhance this color even more, I decided to treat it with some wood oil, but also to give it some more durability of course. And now onto the fun part, which is assembly. I began by cutting strips of double sided tape so I could temporarily fix the frame to the back. But then I got a little visitor. Say hi! I traced the inside of the frame with a pencil. Then I added a second line about a centimeter next to the first one, so I had a guide. To keep the artwork in place, I added these narrow strips of double-sided tape. I pressed the frame to the back and flipped it over. I added screws to each corner to keep it all together. Why not use wood glue? Because now I can safely remove the artworks if I need to. I decided to hang them with wire because it would be easy to level the frames. Cord through the tube, then through the hook, turn it back around, through the tube from the other side, 
loop it back around and do that again. I did it a second time because fuck it, why not? <laughs> Whoops. Little nod at the end for the same reason. I then squashed the tube with some pliers, which I forgot to do. I measured where I needed to drill. Did that. Made sure all was clean and secured. Nothing crazy here, all went well. Except it didn't. The frame was not in the center of the wall. I should have measured from here instead of here. I was kinda bummed out that I made such a rookie mistake. So I tried my luck with the second frame. And holy shit that one went smooth as butter. It's nice to know that sometimes things just go right the first time. Okay, back to the first frame. Drill. Vacuum. Plug. Screw. Okay. Now it's finished. It took a few steps to get here, but the amount of steps are irrelevant. No matter how many setbacks or how many times you think you cannot do it, just keep moving forward. I promise you can do it. I hope to see you all in the next video. Believe in yourself. Cheers.